Did you know the Quran says the sun and moon glide in their own orbits? A fact science proved only in the last few centuries. He created the night and the day, the sun and the moon. Each is floating along in its own orbit. Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter 21, verse 33. Modern astronomy reveals a triple dance. The moon loops around Earth once a month at about 3,700 kilometers per hour, which is approximately one kilometer per second, powering our tides and calendars. Earth races around the sun at 30 kilometers per second, bringing day-night cycles in the changing seasons. The sun itself hurtles around the Milky Way at 220 kilometers per second, finishing one galactic lap every 225 million years. 14 centuries ago, long before telescopes, the Quran used the verb yasbahun to swim for these motions. Today, physicists literally describe planets and stars as swimming through space-time. For centuries, people thought the heavens were fixed, yet the Quran hinted at universal motion. How could a 7th century text capture such cosmic choreography? SubhanAllah, share this mind-blowing fact and let's discuss. Could this be another sign of the Quran's divine origin?